welcome back to another episode of Schooner and Hop. Uh, we're here with a green beacon beer. It's a part of the start of the yeah, green beacon. Yeah, just so it was different. Right. So it had the half mass logo of the green beacon logo. Profesh. <laughs> yeah. And you, then you so just can't ruined my shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, I bet he didn't do this properly. What a dickhead. Well, the joke's on him. him bro. That was very... It was on purpose. Uh, very on purpose. Deliberate. Deliberate, Deliberate even. Um, yeah. Done with conviction. Oof. I was like, that'll be nice on screen. It probably doesn't make a difference. We open this up the same way we open it. That's enough waffle. Mm. We have the Green Beacon Half Mass India Session Ale. Yes. Um, I've tried it. You haven't. Once that again, would have been a part of uh, our Tasting Notes podcast, which should be out by the time you're watching this. I so think so. Go to all fine places where you check out podcasts. Uh, hopefully we've actually got it up there and that's not a shameless yeah. plug for it's nothing. Not, yeah. Um, there is there are seven episodes of them recorded at this stage. Yep, so we can listen to seven it. Seven out. So yeah, we can we can entertain ourselves. Anyway, we should, should pour this. So it's three point eight percent. Um, I did have notes about this somewhere. Oh, sorry, I put your notebook away over there. Yeah, that would probably be why. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm smelling it out of the can. I'm about to pour it. Now I've got the logo around. Alrighty. So, in my note-taking, I put really nothing about IBU. Oh. Um, so that was a waste of time. That'd be interesting. It's in the range of 15 towards 40. Probably. I would think. I don't think it'd be down to 15. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Should try it. Yeah, give it a go. Mm -hmm. It's really just refreshing. Yeah. Um, a note I have is it's all session, not a huge amount of flavor. You're right. Yeah. And that still really rings true. Like, it is very refreshing. Uh, I nearly didn't stop drinking at all, but that's just because it's really hot. Mm. Um, it's just it's an easy drinker for summer. It is just above that three point five mid range, but two percent or point two percent does not equate yeah, to really much. I'm um, gonna say I'm not getting a lot of the India. You know, no. you put the India session out on, on there. You I'm, kind of expect. I'm to thinking get something flavor. closer to what we had with the um, the goose session mm -hmm. IPA. Yeah. I mean, I understand they're different titles, but also it's not it shouldn't be that different. Um, so I was expecting more. There is a bitterness to it, but it's very subtle. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more in the aftertaste than anything else. Yeah. Um, I it's find the aftertaste does invite you to follow on with mm. drinking it. Yeah, definitely. Which adds into that sessionability of the beer. Um, we'll say it's smooth. It's, the, like the it's, thing is, it's clean, refreshing, yeah. and a little bit of flavour. Not a lot. It's definitely a beer that you're supposed to sit on and continue drinking. Hence the mid-strength, hence the session ale title. Yeah. That's... There's not much else to really I'd, say about it. I'd feel better if they just called it the half mile session now. Yeah. I don't think it's got enough hoppy bitterness and enough... To warrant the yeah. India. Yeah. I agree. That made me expect a bit, bit more of a forward bitterness. Uh, I will say, like, it has got this, the um, aroma of what you'd expect from that. Of but a hop forward beer. But yeah. really, it feels like... I just noticed it in this sip just then. It feels like it's going to get bitter when you pull away. Hmm but it just kind of evaporates and you're just left with a clean kind of... There's not even a malt flavour there. No. It's just a... There's a general mouthfeel that makes you want to drink it again. Yeah, yeah. Like it's kind of... It's dry a little bit. Yeah. Well, wow. Look at us it's go. It's left dry. I will um, say it's dry. I'm a fan of that. Uh, so it's definitely a really good beer. I'd probably even come back to it if I was chasing a mid... But it's definitely going to be a mid when I don't feel like anything full flavored, because if I wanted a full flavored mid, chances are I'm going to look at those Newstead uh, three quarter times. times. Yeah. Uh, even a Rogers. Just mm. there's a lot of yeah, stuff that's mid. There's and quite a few mid strengths I'd go for over this. 
Uh, I think the lack of... Oh, it's, it's a bit rough saying lack of flavour, but there is a lack of flavour, I guess. Um, or a lack of uh, flavour from what you expect when it has India in the title. Yeah, but... If it just was Session Ale, but also, I would, probably wouldn't have any yeah. uh, preconceived ideas. That, oh, this isn't bitter enough. Yeah, but then... Oh, I suppose I was going to say the new said is a Session Ale as well, but that's a very different Session Ale. Yes. Which is why we love it so much. I'm trying to think, are there any other Session Ales we've had? Um... Cooper's session, yeah. obviously the Goose oh. Island session. That was a while ago, though. Cooper's was the very first one we did, so that was a very long time ago. Hardly we, barely we even reviewed yep, it. Barely really? we even hardly reviewed it. Yep. That didn't happen for a while that we properly reviewed it. <laughs> but yeah. uh, oh well. Right practice. Uh, yeah. It's it's hard to compare it to. I shouldn't compare it to the three quarter time because it's so different, but. That's just kind of set the bar for mid strength for me. Yeah. Mid strength craft beers, anyway. Mid strength craft beers. Yeah, I mean, both brewers are Brisbane based. So yeah. maybe they didn't want to. Maybe they knew that there is already mm. this. Yeah. Uh, the half, sorry, the three quarter time yeah. mid ale out there secession. Maybe they didn't want to make that beer. So they just went with something maybe else. Maybe they just made wanted to make this beer. Maybe they, they did just want to make this beer. I don't even know. I don't know. You tell us. Audience. Either way, it's a really nice beer. Yeah. It just falls short of uh, what you'd expect out of something with India at the yeah. start of it. Sessionability side. Very sessionable. I'd probably give it about a four. Yeah. It's yeah. not. I wouldn't give it a full five. It's not a five it's, out of five. It's not the beer that I'm going to choose yeah, to not, have a session on yeah. all the time. Yeah. But it's definitely sessionable. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd give it that as well. Bitterness. It's pretty damn low. Uh, like one or two out of... One out of five. I was going to say go one, yeah. You, you'd be generous to give it a two. Yes. On a, because the, there really isn't, really isn't any bitterness. And aftertaste doesn't necessarily apply to this, but it's more because it's dry. You just give it a mouth feel as opposed to an aftertaste. Yeah, there's no, there's no flavours that linger. But um, other than um, the bitterness that I found uh, towards the end of it, but I think that's more towards the end of the sip. It's not anything that lingers yeah. in your in your mouth. Um, so I'm going to rank this aftertaste on basically how dry it is at the end. And it's probably about a three out of five as far as like that mouth feel after it. Because it's, it's inviting me to drink it again. So it definitely has some form of aftertaste, dry mouth feel. That's just where I'm ranking that as opposed to that. And what was that other? I think it was just overall, was it? Did we say? No. Either way, overall... I'd give it about a three out of five. Yeah, it's nothing groundbreaking. Uh, it's also nothing bad. It's yeah, it's far from bad. Yeah, and it's not far from great. It's just not the beer I'd just, that uh, I expected out of something titled an Indian yeah. session ale. I'd definitely go in and have it on tap uh, yes. at their at their venue. I think that'd be good to have. I think it'd be a nice draft beer, but um. But I will as far as having in cans again, I don't know if I'd... It is a bloody hot day today, and this... Mm. <clears throat> it's just perfectly suited for a day like today. Where it's apparently, I don't know, 36, 37 outside. Oh, but have a look at our little... Uh, it feels it. Where's our little brewing thermometer? That's <laughs> <laughs> lying around here somewhere, that'll tell us the temperature. Also, it feels extra hot because of that guy, and because of that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Extra toasty. Um, yeah. And as far as why I ranked it below everything, I don't know, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory with everything that I've said. Mm. It just falls short, even it falls half-mast of everything else. I do like the murky colour. That's pretty cool. But hazy. also... Hazy. Yeah, hazy. Hazy, hazy, hazy is, is a better an, word. Hazy is a nicer way to put it than murky. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the beer's not murky. Um, that makes it sound like we're drinking a Cooper's that has sediment through it. Which we are not. <laughs> no. Um, but again, that's misleading to me, like the title. That, to me, makes me think, hops, I'm going to get some fruit flavours, I'm going to get some cool bitterness. Yeah, you're right. I didn't actually, I, I didn't even think of the way that it looks versus how it tastes. Yeah. Anyway, this has been the Green Beacon Half Mass India Session Ale Review. That was, uh, that was so all, is this. That was all scripted and hyphenated. Like every word hyphenated. You've seen that before? It's a thing. 
<clears throat> makes it really quicker. Anyway, this has been that. Yeah, be and sure to have with us. Yeah, be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and check out the podcast. Uh, what is it? Schooner and Hop Tasting Notes. notes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, check it out wherever yes. you listen to podcasts. Maybe it's there. It's good. Like one third of us is really professional. Who's? Oh no. <laughs> yes. <laughs>